A missionary is someone that has fallen so deeply in love with God that they realize this love cannot possibly be just for me. Their heart begins to burn for going out and sharing this love with a world that has never experienced it. In Youth with a Mission, our theme, our model, our statement of love has been to know God intimately and to make Him known powerfully. What an opportunity we have to partner with Papa's business all over the world in reaching this planet for Him. When I think of Youth with a Mission here in Chico, California, I think of our call to world missions. I hear the Father's heart calling us to be a missions movement here in Chico that's about His business on the earth. We, we, we're looking at God, what's left of the Great Commission? Taking, taking a literal where God said, I trust you with this. this, I commission you to go and reach the world. So here in Chico, we're doing it in three levels, regionally, locally, and internationally. The local way is incredible because it activates our staff to not just do missions away, but here right now. So in the past few years, we've been doing all sorts of different endeavors, stepping into the public school with dance classes, serving the youth through sports and, and ministries, prayer walk in the city, looking to how do we start community gardens and serving people that need help practically, like building a roof for a family that had a destroyed roof. And then just recently, a a Bible distribution strategic plan that hit everyone's home with a gift of the Bible and a, a study of how to have meditation and quiet times with Jesus. Uh, it's been a pleasure working in our local area with this mission's heart to reach what's not reached yet. One of our ministries has been very powerful in this region has been the Conference Center Ministry. The beautiful thing has been that it's not just your normal Conference Center business, but rather a ministry where we as YWAM, as Youth with a Mission, with our missions movement heart, have been able to partner with groups that have been uh, needing help in, whether it's worship or missional workshops or training and equipping young people. And because of that partnership, we are seeing them get stirred and ignited. The first time I ever came to YWAM Chico, I was actually 14 years old in a youth camp incredibly broken and insecure and I actually discovered the Holy Spirit here and discovered like some part of my calling and encountered Jesus here. And we have the opportunity to have the communities of churches, some that are non-Christian groups, some that are missional groups, some that are the body of Christ and it, it's interdenominational expressions. They have a gathering place here and we can reach our region by creating a place of hospitality. As a missions movement, uh, the international reach that God has called us to it really has developed through many of our staff having a heart for nations abroad and also directly the Father reaching out to us and saying, will you partner with me? In different seasons throughout the years, God has called us to different regions of the world. Presently, we feel a real accenting of God in the nation of China. We've partnered with some of our own fruit students that have come through our missionary training schools that have gone out and established themselves in different parts of China. Another region internationally that we feel God has really asked us, would you step in deeper, is the whole continent of Africa. There are several nations, South Africa, another one of the fruits of our staff leader that came through this ministry in Chico that went to South Africa, established the ministry, and now because of that bridge relationally, we're able to support her through teams and staff that have come alongside the work that she's doing in reaching Muslims. Also, we've seen a Uganda, South Sudan with the refugee crisis coming into Uganda. Our teams of staff and students have stepped into that and just said, God, how do we step into refugee camps and love and heal, support the YWAM works that are there, connecting with local churches. We also have several locations that are, that are now stirring God, how do we establish outposts of Youth of Mission Chico in these nations. And we're asking God, how do we equip these staff so that they can go and establish themselves there in strategic ways, and then we can come behind them in some, some way to support what God's doing in those closed nations. We love our, our expressions locally, regionally, internationally. It's an is honor for us to partner with God in reaching these places. You might be asking yourself, where do I fit 
in this picture? And how can I come alongside this missions movement that's happening here at Springs of Living Water in Chico, California? Now, all of us have been commissioned by God to go and make Him known throughout the nations. We think of Matthew 28, now go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And you think of you and I and how we've had the opportunity through prayer and intercession, creating shields of of protection as people go into dark places to make God known. We think of our involvement in short-term missions as we stepped into places and you've been able to help and lift up the arms of people as they've been there long-term trying to establish the work of God. And we also think of the partnerships and the investment that you can make as a steward of the resources God has given you to partner and help mobilize these movements through finances. There are many ways to respond, whether it's a one-time gift, whether it's a monthly commitment to say, I'm with you monthly with this amount. It doesn't matter whether it's small or big. What matters is that we are sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And we say, Lord, how can I partner? How can I get involved? I want to challenge you today that you would ask the Lord that. Listen to His heart and His voice as He leads you in those partnerships. Because this calling, this mission's wave, cannot be done by a few, by one expression alone. It is done by us together. It is a together taking on the business of the Father like Jesus did. Thank you for being willing to ask the Lord about your involvement.